know what's good guys it is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another video and the reason for that intro is because this week is crit week yes yes y'all so best believe best believe we are going to be hooking my man up with a reaction slash review series of his very own here on the Jason JV channel and by the way uh, don't forget to show some love for a uh, little, little scheme back there you know what I mean and uh yeah so anyways y'all yes Crips new album Buried Alive has just dropped and best believe your boy went out and pre-ordered himself a digital copy for iTunes and uh, the album is fully delete deleted fully downloaded English right fully downloaded on to my iTunes you don't believe me I'll pull up my iTunes right now and let's see if we can enlarge this a boyaka shot here it is Buried Alive, right here, all the way down, right. so yeah, we got ourselves the copy of Buried Alive here on the iTunes, and we are going to get into the first track that is up on deck, simply called Tales from the Crypt 2, now yo, I don't know what to expect out of this album, so far the only songs I've heard and I already did a review on was Call It Quits featuring Jelly Roll and Adam Calhoun and uh, this will be the second track that we'll have a look that we're gonna be having a look at so as far as the rest of the album concerned as far as this track is concerned I don't I don't know man I mean if Call of Quits is anything to go on then I'm sure this album is gonna be nothing short of fire and I'm sure it's gonna be better than uh, Tales from the Crypt nothing against Tales from the Crypt that is so far, that is one of my favorite Crypt albums thus far. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to crack into this so we can see where this would rank. So, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get right into it. Once again, from our boy Crypt, from his Buried Alive album, the first track that is up on deck. Technically second, being that we looked at Call It Quits first. But anyway, simply called Tales from the Crypt 2. Without further ado, like the hit hit. Get this him. right here is how I kick off the album I don't really care about the outcome I just want to tell a couple stories and prove to everybody That I'm more than you think about me times a thousand I spent the last year looking back on my accomplishments Okay, I'm sorry, I need to catch what he said right there Everybody that I'm more than you think about me times a thousand I spent the last year looking back on my accomplishments Ignoring all the compliments I don't ever really talk about Because the second Alright, so I like what my man is saying right here To kick things off, man All he wants to do is just be himself Tell his story, you know what I'm saying And, um uh, He's, he, he's ignoring the compliments because he's trying not to let that stuff go to his head. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to let people uh, overinflate his ego, if you will. You know what I mean? Trying to stay humble, which, hey, I can respect that. You know what I mean? Bruh. Let me wind it back a little bit and let's go. Ignoring all the compliments, I don't ever really talk about. Because the second that I do, one of you is going to choose to ruin my mood and bring me down some. I can never get a glimpse of happiness because every time it happens, I just think about the accidents that might come. People on the internet remind me that I ain't shit. Yo, yo, I, I, I can feel him 100% on that, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, you know, uh, the hard work you put in and the uh, success, you try not to dwell on that because you're worried about, uh, you know, the the uh, accidents that may occur that can easily wipe all of that away, you know what I'm saying? It can easily erase all that, you know? So instead of focusing on the uh, success and the compliments, stay focused on the mission, stay focused on that grind, you know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Shit, and I agree with them, but I pretend that I doubt them. I remember backstage back in Omaha, Mac told me stop making rap records all about them, but it's hard because a part of me doesn't even want a part of this shit, but the other part was all of it. I'm in the middle like Malcolm. How so basically, so, okay, so he's got people in his ear and try to encourage him, yo, stop making songs about the drama, stop making songs about the BS, you know what I mean? Who cares what the haters and the trolls have to say? So because of that, he's feeling conflicted, you know what I mean? Because he, he, he's like, he, he's hearing his friend, and he's taking his words into consideration, but then at the same time, it's like he just can't help himself. He wants to go in on it, so he's conflicted. He's stuck in the middle like Malcolm. Malcolm in the middle. Bruh. Malcolm in the middle, for those who don't know, it's, a, it's an old sitcom. And if you want to know more about it, Google it. Google is your friend. Let's go. Come. Every time I open my feed, there's so many comments full of positivity. But the second something's negative, it's inevitable that in my head all the positive has been outdone. If you dealt with the hatred I get on a day to day basis, I promise you wouldn't make it, so don't even try. The Bruh, and I always wonder about that too, man. People, you know, when you, when you want to give your favorite artist compliments and everything, they, they go 
they go on red or whatever the case because they're looking at like the haters and the trolls and wondering what they're saying and everything but yo if anyone deserves free real estate in your head it should be your supporters not your detractors i mean i'm just saying why give those people free real estate in your head you know what i mean i'm just saying just my opinion let's go the only person that should hate me is myself and I do But you, I've never even given you a reason why And more times than not, I lay in bed and I sigh Thinking what it would be like if I were to die That's the time you see me hop on the end Giving you a reason why And more times than not, do wouldn't make it so don't even try The only person that should hate me is myself and I do But you, I've never even given you a reason why And more times than not, I lay in bed I can relate to what he just said right there uh, Talking about some people who uh, don't have a real legit reason to hate the man But for some reason they do I can relate to that quite a bit. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to get into it. All I'm going to say is that I can relate because there are some people, you know what I mean, who be who be talking that ish, dragging the names through through the mud and throwing names under the bus. I'm just saying. Let's go. And I sigh, thinking what it would be like if I were to die. That's the time you see me hop on the Instagram live and chat with you guys running away from my mind. Somebody says some dumb shit to get under my skin. Then I circle back around to where my night begins. And I'm trapped with my thoughts to bring my life to an end. I saw a therapist back in college and he didn't do shit. Now my life is like ring around the rosy. Spinning in circles, burning to ashes slowly. Writing my hurt down in a verse before it gets worse. And I have to book a fucking hearse to hold me. And these albums are where I let it all hang out. And show my scars for all to play loud. My mom didn't even know I tried to kill myself until I put tales from the crypt. I remember writing some of the Bro, that's insane. His own mother didn't know that he that he attempted suicide until he put out Tales from the Crypt and really poured his heart out and let everybody else know, including his mom, the all the all all the issues that he was dealing with. You know what I mean? Bro, that's crazy. Man, let's go. Those tracks I couldn't even record in the studio with Joey crying like a baby boy. All the scars are real and all the stories are facts. So if you listen, you'll see. Kill myself until I put tales from the crypt out. I remember writing some of those tracks I couldn't even record in the studio with Joey crying like a baby boy. All the scars are real. Said he couldn't write, or some of those tracks he wrote, he couldn't record w without, um, I guess, I'm assuming he means Joey Nato, who is his best friend, or one of his best friends, excuse me. Man, talking about Joey crying, you know what I mean? After, I guess, checking out those songs and, bruh. Uh, let's go. And all the stories are facts. So if you listen, you'll see I'm way more than fast raps. Why it affects me bad, and I get romantic. So it's like, okay, so he's saying because of the uh, substance he's putting out, you know what I mean? His story that he's putting out, and the message he's trying to say, he's much more than just uh, speed rap and chopper flow. Which, look, I know I give a lot of rappers um, that that do the chopper flow uh, a lot of flack, but. That's not saying, but the one thing I've never said though is that yo, you have your 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 speed, your uh, speed spitters, you know what I'm saying, your chopper flowers that do have that substance, you know what I'm saying. Wild card, like I said, I know Wild card, he's my homie and everything, but even if he wasn't my homie, I would still say this, you know what I'm saying, because it's true. He he's a, he's one of those speed spitters. He's one of those one of those chopper flowers that has a lot of substance, that has a story to tell, you know what I mean, that knows how to send a message. Crip. I would put Crypt in that same category as Wildcard. You know what I mean? He can spit fast. Yes, he can. But he has something. He has things to say. You know what I mean? He has substance. You know what I mean? He can tell a story. You know what I mean? He can deliver that, that message. Bruh, let's go. When these people tell me that I only rap real fast, all right, copy this, all right, copy that, all right, sound like him, all right, sound like that, cause I pull it all out, deep from inside, back from the depths of my dark black mind, each track that I decide to write shaves off a couple good years of my life, I debate. Well, let me hear that back. Deep from inside, back from the depths of my dark black mind. Each track that I decide to write shaves off a couple good years of my life. I debated on dropping this or not. I can't lie, cause no matter what, it's gonna be an uphill climb. Cause before you even click, you got a thought of what this is. And every time I do that thought, you're gonna box me in. I got the stigma of a fast white rapper. See, again, talking about more, again, how people are trying to box him into the, to just a, uh, another fast rapper, you know, box. They're, they're trying to put him in that box. Like, he's just a fast rapper. That just doesn't have anything to say. He just goes. He just goes. Nah. Nah. There's more to crit than meets the eyes and ears. Let's go. Because I'm white and I rap fast. But why can't I just rap how I like? And you listen without labeling my crap? Exactly, man. Let these artists rap however they like. You know what I'm saying? And then decide whether or not you like it. And if you don't like it, hey, don't listen to it. You know what I mean? Go, go find an artist that, that you like better. And go enjoy that artist. You know what I mean? Bruh. Let this man do his own thing. Let, let him do what he wants to do, however he wants to do it. 
You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Cause I do rap fast, but I also rap slow. For Christ's sake, I've shown you. That is true. That is true. This man can rap in various speeds. He doesn't just do the speed flows. I know, like I said, I have Tales from the Crypt on my iTunes along with Buried Alive. And I can vouch for this man. I've seen him, many of his music videos. And I know for a fact that he doesn't do just chopper spits. He also does regular spit. You know what I mean? He also does slower spit. Bruh, let's go. You part of my soul. I'm not okay. Night in September. The end. These are examples of my hope. This those songs are crazy. I'm not okay. Night in December in the end. Those are very intense songs, bruh. To the parts of my soul that I wrote and took from my dome and spoke so you can relate back home. These are the locks of my brain that I broke and dove into so you can know what I know. And this album is more of that. I've got so many stories that have been untapped. So sit back and listen and buckle up for the ride. This is the tales from the crypt on how I'm buried alive. Yo, so that was Crip with Tales from the Crypt 2, and that was from his Buried Alive album, which had just dropped, bruh. And I gotta say, so far, yes, I am feeling this one. I love the way my man kicked it off. I love that, you know, he's getting um, he's getting everything off of his chest. He's still, you know what I mean? He's he's getting out uh, everything that, that he was dealing with, all his issues that he was dealing with the past year, you know what I mean, from, you know... People who are just telling him shit, you know what I mean? Just for the sake of saying shit. You know what I'm saying? My man is just letting all that out because, yo, he wants to be done with the nonsense. He wants to move on. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I love this, man. This is a great way to kick off the album. If this is any indication, and Call It Quits is also is, is another indication as to how the, the rest of this album going to be, yo, I'm excited for it. Excuse me. But yeah, y'all, that's going to do it for this one. So, hey. If you guys are with this song, then you know where the link for the original video is going to be. And uh, if you're done with this reaction, well, you know what to do with that thumbs up down below. And you know what to do with that comment section down below. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. And hopefully I did enough to earn your subscription so you can be a part of Jason JV, Ranger Squad family. We'd very much love to have you as part of the team. Yeah, what I mean, don't forget to check out, of course, all the links that are you can find in the description down below, including the two store links. Also... If you want to just help out with the channel, donate to the cause, link for the PayPal in the description down below as well. If you absolutely cannot support the channel financially, no worries. It is all good. No hard feels. You are still helping out in the long run by simply clicking that subscribe button, dinging that notification bell. Make sure you select all so you never miss an upload, which doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. If you're new here, of course, and of course, liking and sharing my videos so more eyes can be on the channel. Since teamwork makes a dream work, you best believe I cannot be picked up on a YouTube algorithm without y'all, and I recognize. And I think I nailed everything, guys. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace.